Coming to America, I, I faced a lot of challenges, like because as every soccer star, like I watch their interviews, when they really talk about their growth in the game, they really face a lot of challenges. Like uh, some of them don't even have like uh, the soccer ball to practice with. They don't have good um, soccer cleats to to use. So those are part of challenges. They don't have like uh, to commit themselves. You know? Some of them have to do some job just to just to be able to get money to get on like a soccer ball. You know? When you really go into those are the things I learned from even the famous stars like the Zinedine Zidane of today, the Cristiano Ronaldo, when they give their depth of what they went through. So the same applies to me. You know? Football is my life because it was something I look forward to. And like I said every day after school, when I was still in high school, I practiced after high school. So it was something that unites me with my soccer friends and um, it was something very good. Like I look forward to it because it unites everyone together. It unites the good, the bad. By the time we play, we, we all speak one language. At the end of the day, it's always like good. Football in Nigeria, it's, it's like, it's like, oh, like something so precious because Nights everyone together like like I remember when I was I think ten. Remember my dad used to like he wasn't really a soccer fan, but there was a World Cup going on. I think it was um, I can't really remember. I think it was the World Cup in '98 in France. Yeah, my dad brought out the TV to uh, so people could watch. So basically, it was food, um, soccer unites everyone together. Like in Nigeria, people always look forward to it. Like for example, for myself, because I practice every day besides Sunday after school, so it was always something I look forward to, to do. Like because yeah, it's always time. Football is my life. But now um, I came to America by um, this a lot. I'm a great card holder, so right now I'm basically here on my own and I have to get up on this one, which make it more challenging because I have to go to school. At the same time I have to work to pay my bills. And because of what I love, as I said, um, football is my life, I still have to play, which is combining those three is tedious. But I still try to make time out of me. Still try to pursue my dream, although it's very hard. Like right now. I just finished doing some practice this morning. The next agenda is going to work. And, um, for you to be able to compete, like, for you to be able to compete because by the time, let's say a club needs me right now, like, um, um, the club wants to sign me, for example, for me to be able to meet the criteria, it's like we just at school, like, taking, like, prerequisite for another class. So for me to be able to meet the criteria, for me to be able to compete with the, with the, with the, with the players that they have already because I'm going into there to compete because life is all about competition, sport is all about competition. For me to be able to compete to any sport in the team, I need to be better than them. I need to, be, I need to place the, the managers, I need to place the organization that are okay, this is what we want. So with that, and then this, that is their profession already, they do that every day. They go to practice, they, they play games, they are more exposed. But for someone like us, someone in my position, I, I'm very, pretty much sure there are a lot of uh, people right there, outside there, today that get my position right now. For us to be able to compete with them is way more because we don't do it every day. We have to go to school, we have to. For someone like me that is here on his own, that has to take care of a lot of stuff, like the bills and all that. It, it takes a lot of um, um, dedication for you to be able to meet the, the, the requirement for, for you to be able to compete with the elite player, like having a trial. Like for example, if, if I have an agent, if my agent tells me right now, oh George, you have a, I have a place for you to go in six months. The six months, all I just need to do, I need to stop working, which is unrealistic because the bills will pile up. It's just the struggle, it's just the everyday struggle. Soccer helps me to be more, to be disciplined, basically. 
not just my parents end up trying to tell me what to do. That won't be a normal thing. So God helped me to be on time, you know. Because for practice, they gave me certain time. They gave me certain rules. They gave me certain, you know, there are rules and regulations to do that don't. And if you go against the, the, the rule, you're out. So it helps me to be more disciplined. That's why it helps me in life. And that's why I say sometimes life man, is a good invention, an invention from God. So I really appreciate it. And yeah, as I said earlier on, I pray and I hope to make it as a professional soccer player. And if I make it, I'll be able to give back because it's, it's, let me put it in one word, soccer is life, yeah.